Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about one dimensional elastic collision. First of all, we have been talking about this in the previous uh, video lessons also. We can have a detailed look at them. But simply collision means transfer of energy and momentum between the bodies or among the bodies, even if the bodies are not having a physical interaction. A collision is said to be elastic if both momentum and kinetic energy of the system is conserved before and after collision. And now we would like to talk about one dimensional, that means before and after the collision, both the bodies are going to move only in one dimension. It could be either along x-axis, along y-axis or z-axis. In that case, what's the kind of a equations or conclusions that we can draw is a point that I would like to analyze and understand in this case. Let us consider a body of mass m1 moving with a velocity u1. Let us there is another body of mass m2 moving with a velocity u2. Assume that u1 is going to be greater than u2 therefore the first body will go and collide with the second body. This is before the collision. After the collision body. So the first body will get a different velocity and the second body also will get a different velocity. This is after the collision. But being assuming the collision as a elastic collision I would like to say or a perfect elastic collision that there is no loss of kinetic energy and momentum. As collision is perfectly elastic as collision is perfectly elastic. You know the meaning of the elastic collision is both momentum and kinetic energy is conserved. Momentum conserved means P initial equal to P final. Collision of the system, momentum of the system before the collision is the momentum of the first body and the momentum of the second body. I have written plus because both the bodies are moving in the same direction before the collision as well as after the collision. So we can write m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal to m1 u1 plus m2 u2 where u1 and u2 are the initial velocities before the collision and v1 v2 are the final velocities after the collision respectively of the same bodies. Rearranging the terms I can write m1 of u1 minus v1 equal to m2 of v2 minus v2. Let us consider this as an equation number 1. But we know being collision is elastic, it is not only the momentum that is conserved, the kinetic energy is also conserved. So I can write as kinetic energy is conserved. That means kinetic energy initial before the collision equal to kinetic energy final after the collision. What do you mean by kinetic energy initial before the collision is half m1 u1 square plus half m2 u2 square that is initial kinetic energy of both the bodies together before the collision half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square that is the final kinetic energy after the collision. You can cancel all the halves so m1 u1 square m2 u2 square equal to m1 v1 square plus m2 v2 square. Again rearranging the terms m1 of u1 square minus v1 square equal to m2 of v2 square minus u2 square. I have just exchanged the terms on both the sides. Let me call it as equation number 2. Now I have two equations because of the conservation of the momentum I have this equation because of the conservation of the kinetic energy I have some other equation. Let us divide equation number 2 with equation number 1 both on LHS and RHS side. So m1 of u1 square minus v1 square of equation number 2 LHS side. Equation number 1 LHS side is u1 minus v1 of m1 equal to m2 of v2 square minus u2 square by 
m2 of v2 minus u2. M2s can be cancelled. I can write this a square minus b square as a plus b and a minus b. u1 minus v1. This v2 square minus v1 square can be written like v2 plus u2 by v2 minus u2 by v2 minus u2. This v2 minus u2s, u1 minus v1s can be cancelled. What's remaining is u1 plus v1 equal to v2 plus u2. Again rearranging the terms u1 minus u2 equal to v2 minus v1. This is an important conclusion. In the case of one dimensional elastic collision, in the case of one dimensional elastic collision, what is u1 minus u2 is simply relative velocity of the approach relative velocity of approach before the collision what is v2 minus v1 is relative velocity of separation after the collision so we have proved that in one dimensional elastic collision perfect elastic collision relative velocity of the approach before the collision equal to the relative velocity of the separation after the collision this is a very important result and we are going to use this result further in the next video lessons thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you